everybody Ann here sitting out here in my garden in front of the chickens having my coffee with all of you lovely people today it's just gonna be well another typical day on the homestead I've got to process some water I gotta haul some water I gotta water some plants um, oh and I need to get that chicken coop ready to receive chickens for the first time so I don't know this may not be that interesting a video for you but it's just basically my day it's almost ready for chickens. I've got their nesting boxes set up, although the Easter eggers won't be laying for a while. But I got some bedding down in there. And I wanted to put the bricks on the outside, but I couldn't because they would prevent the door from closing. I can't get that tray in, and I really just don't think I need the tray on the bottom. Because what I've done, I've lined here with bricks. I've lined underneath of here with bricks all the way around. I've lined that with bricks too from the outside and I've lined this with bricks. Now when I get those uh, pavers, it'll be much better because the whole thing will be up on top of concrete. So um, I'm not gonna line this outside thing because really all I'm concerned about is that the chickens are safe at night after I close the door, I don't want anything digging in underneath. So there is a spot there I could put a brick and I think on the other side as well. But for now, I've just got this on top. Um, this, this stuff, I don't know if it's gonna make it really super hot, but I can use it for shade at this time of the day on top. And then I can use it over here for shade, um, you know, on this side when the sun starts beating down on it this way so that they will always have shade. So that's gonna definitely still come come in handy. So all I need to do now is get some food and water in there. And they're in. Look at how big they're getting. Oh yes. See that roof is putting a little bit of shade there. Yep, Rocky, I think this is gonna be your flock. I made them a little treat with some tuna, some chicken, some cornmeal. They got a little grit there. They got their water there. So, these are just such pretty chickens. They really are. Look at their green legs. Wow. So cool. Aw, Rocky, you want in there? I can arrange that. <laughs> I think I need to let them get a little bit bigger, don't you? And now I'm going to show you an example of a comment that got deleted. I've blocked out the name and the icon so that you don't, you know, go jump on them. So this person left this comment on my video about my new chicken coop that I'm thrilled with that someone had very generously gifted me. So this individual comes on and says, I bought one of those about eight years ago just for chicks. The roof rotted out first. Water apparently seeps under roofing, rots away pretty soon. I put chicken wire under the floor and blah, blah, blah. She went on and on and on and on about how crappy this beautiful chicken coop that someone spent a fortune for to completely dog it and neg it to death and I, I'm not going to show you the whole comment because it was just it, it, it's it's there's always going to be one in a crowd that's going to be a Debbie Downer that will tell you whatever it is you're doing is crap whatever it is you have or that you just got is crap whatever you just built is crap so I will delete those comments and I make no apologies about it so if you think that this kind of comment is okay well they're not they just aren't what part of your negative words did you feel were right to share after I had just worked very hard building this and then you're going to tell me that what I've built and what someone gave me out of the goodness of their own heart is crap? Uh, well, you know what? Maybe your building technique wasn't right. Maybe you didn't put things together correctly. Maybe you didn't seal it. Maybe you didn't have it up on blocks. There are any number of reasons why your coop rotted out and didn't last. You did say it lasted eight years, right? So in the future, if you come back to this channel, this is a positive channel. This is a place where people support one another and where we think about each other's feelings. How do you think the person felt with you saying all of this? Okay, how do you think the person felt that gifted me this chicken coop? 
what part of your words did you think were actually appropriate? But like I said, there's always got to be one Debbie Downer in a crowd and appears though this person is that one. In fact, I've heard the exact opposite about this particular coupe. It is very well reviewed. The people who have them love them. They've kept them for years. They take care of them. They do what they need to do to make sure that they last. So you may not have done those things. You may have bought a completely different coupe, yet you're going to come onto my channel and completely annihilate this beautiful coupe that I've got. You could have chosen to make suggestions. Well, what about waterproofing? What about uh, other ways to improve upon it? But you didn't. You just had to dump all over this coupe, which I love, which many other people love as well. Because you had a bad experience with a coupe doesn't mean that you are right to say that all coupes like this are crap. So don't do it again. Um, I'm not going to tell you again. You know, you may feel you want to unsubscribe. That's fine with me because I don't want this kind of comment on this channel, especially when it's been, you're commenting on somebody or something that somebody has given me as a gift. Now, many of you might feel like I should have just ignored it, deleted it, blocked the person or whatever. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Every time a channel owner allows that kind of negativity on their channel, that emboldens the commenter to go out and to continue to make those kinds of comments on other similar channels. Now, this individual has made many comments here. Many of them have been chicken alarmist type comments and you know how much I don't like that. So no, I don't want it here. And, and, it, and if you're the kind of person that makes that kind of comment, just don't, don't leave me comments, okay? And if you're the kind of person that insists that I ignore it, well, I don't want you here either. Seriously, I just don't. Because this is a, a, a positive channel. It's a warm channel, supportive channel. And we're not going to have alarmists and Debbie Downers and Karens. Now, Karen, Karen, feral gal, nope, not talking about you. A Karen is an internet meme. You know, one of those females that is constantly harping and, you know, complaining and over-exaggerating and stuff like that. So, no. But there's always those ones. And they just need to not be on the internet. So, if every channel owner addressed comments like these, not every day, not every time you get them, because if I've got one, I've probably got 10 more just like it that I don't talk about. So I think we just need to pull together and make sure these people understand that their commenting is inappropriate. And hopefully they will gain an understanding of why people don't like their behavior. So anyhow, hmm, what else am I going to do today? Mr. Lucas just called and said he's got some amazing mushrooms on his property. Doesn't know if they're something I can eat or whatever, so I'm going to go check them out. Hmm, I wonder if these were what he was talking about. Let me see here. Look at that. Those are pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Let me see this one. All right, I'm definitely going to harvest these, find out what they are. I don't think I can eat them. But they sure are cool looking, aren't they? Ooh, look at these. Wow, oh, look, look. I'm not positive what these are. Look at all these little pretty flowers. These might just be the tricolor bolites or bicolor bolites. Let me see. I'm just gonna pull this one. Look. Oh. Let's see what happens when I press on it. Turns brownish? Huh. Those are pretty gorgeous. Look at you guys. Mr. Lucas Bard Rock out with her two baby chicks that she hatched out. Oh, she hears me. She's escaping. Good mama. Ooh, look, blackberries. Mmm, I'm gonna have a snack. Mmm, sweet. Oh, very sweet. Mmm, two more. 
Let's get them. Yum. Oh. There's another one. <laughs> Pretty yummy. This is where the chanterelle patch starts. See, there's a few down there. They're past their prime. I did pick this one. Maybe I'll find more. There's a bunch. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick these. Wow, I've already got this many. And I just found this patch. Look at all of these chanterelles. This is a nice sized one. Definitely going to get it. Oh, yes. I know what's for dinner tonight. This patch is expanding. I mean, it's going all the way down, way past there. But I'm not going to harvest every single one because I've got enough for dinner and then some. And you always want to leave a little bit behind. Different kind of berry. I don't know what they are, but I'm not going to mess with them today. There's the leaf. Actually, the leaf looks like that. So what do you think, guys? What is it? By the way, Lena, is this a plantain plant? See that? Is that a plantain? Tell me it's a plantain. I got it all over the place. I know it's hard to see, but it looks like the baby chicks are acquainting themselves with the inside. I think they're too small to get up to those roosts. So it'll be interesting to see how they sleep tonight. And dinner is served. Just like the other time, chanterelle sauteed in ghee with jalapeno peppers. There's a few green beans in there and some wild greens served over a bed of pasta. Delicious. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.